We get started right now. This meeting is being live streamed. Okay. Yeah. It's still setting up. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, hello, your holiness. Okay. Okay. Hey, all Welcome back to another episode of SJ Games Live. I'm Hunter, and I am privileged to be here with the folio. Hello. Hello. It's awesome to you guys have you guys here. This is uh, our f- first interview with uh, the folios ever. You, I, 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 so personally, I've been a huge fan of you guys f- for a long time. Uh, I played Magic the Gathering back in the 90s. That was my first exposure mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. your art. Uh, and uh, it's kind of surreal being able to work at a company where you, you both have so much involved here, so, uh, art games just in general uh, so thank you guys for doing this with us sure uh, so uh we're uh we're gonna be talking a lot about girl genius uh this is one of y'all's biggest projects uh one of the most notable comics really of the last 20 years uh and this project obviously the girl genius source book has uh been in production or been in uh well, production for for quite a while quite a uh, while on kickstarter <laughs> but it's very successful so we're really excited about that um so with the uh, anticipation having been so high uh how excited with the amount of support it's getting and you know the fans of just not your comics but like of gurps are really excited about it too Cool. Well, I remember back in college, I remember um, every time a new GURPS source book would come out, everybody would have to have it, even if it was something nobody knew or cared about. And (laughs) my friends bought GURPS horse clans because it existed and had the word GURPS on it. Yeah. (laughs) Then they laughed about it a lot. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I. I, um, Yeah. Yeah. They bought it because it was a GURPS book. Yeah. Well, Hopefully people will do that here too. <laughs> but sure. and then they can laugh about what what is this that I have just bought? What, yeah. <laughs> what is all this? It's weird something to stuff? do with horses, I guess. No, well, no. it's not bunnies and burrows. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But it's, yeah. Bunnies and burrows is good. Yeah. <laughs> it is good. I it's one of my favorite ones. I'm a big That's watership some old school down stuff guy. too, isn't it? That was a long time ago. Yep. Yep. Wow. That was the watership down license, right? Sort of. It was the, the watership down. Not, ah, not a, you have no idea, do you? No, you I don't actually know. No. He doesn't actually know. No. <gasps> okay, yeah, well, I do. And okay, you, yeah, kind of. Okay, I mean, it's, not not it, a license. No, it's oh. legally distinct rabbits. Yes, got completely. it. All right. Totally not watership down. No. no, watership down is one of my favorite books ever. It's, um, it's wonderful. Yeah, I do love yes. it. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's really uh it's really cool seeing that uh all the sport for all, for just in general because it's it's you go through the kickstarter comments and i think it's about as much fans of the comic as it is of the rpg uh for, for those that haven't really heard of it maybe if they're you know fans of GURPS or something like that uh could you give us a little bit of background on Girl Genius itself? Because it, we've also done with much sure. and Steampunk. Okay. Um, well, the elevator pitch of the story has, hasn't has changed for like 20 years. Um, it's a world... <laughs> Is that good? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a, a world thing. ruled by mad science, but not very well. Um, our hero, Agatha, discovers that she is the long-lost heir of a very powerful family of mad scientists who everyone else thought had been safely wiped out. And when they find out this is in fact not the case, everyone wants to either kill her or control her and hilarity ensues. If I hear hilarity ensues one more time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. Yep. Oh gosh. It's, it's basically if, um, if Sauron's grandchild had come back to Mordor and Mordor is now selling tea towels and, and tourist items and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and maybe, you know, maybe uh, all the orcs are, are having a nice time, like ripping off tourists and yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm. I, I like, I like that description a lot. That's good. Yeah. And it's, it's very humorful. It's, I mean, that's, that's probably what's 
one of the coolest notes for it, I think. Uh, and it's it's great for stuff like GURPS and Munchkin, especially oh, absolutely the Munchkin expansion we talked about right before we went on air. It's been one of our uh, most anticipated Munchkin expansions as well. So it's really cool nice. to see the GURPS game uh, take off because we're over 2,000 backers now for people watching that haven't uh, kept up with the campaign mm -hmm. uh, with 11 days to go. So yeah. really excited nice. to see where it goes from here. We have always um, been very lucky be with, uh, because of our, uh, our fan base. Um, they are uh, very enthusiastic and they are very loyal, which is good because we totally suck at this advertising and social media thing. I mean, you know, social this media is, is scary. This is like the biggest online presence we've had in like 10 years. So you know, what, right this minute, right this minute. So, you know, no <laughs> pressure. Uh, um, uh, so what he's trying to say is people are very nice to us and we appreciate they are it. Very nice to us. I, I, yeah. Keep it short. No, no, that's, <laughs> that's you, I will say you guys are perfect together. <laughs> that's the greatest <laughs> oh man, mm. uh, yeah. The, the, I, we we feel that with the the fans of the Munchkin expansion, the the Gerbs game, you can kind of feel the love towards the Girl Genius license. We really we're really blessed to be able to make something with this. We appreciate you guys letting us do this. Well, that's very oh yeah, nice. and like all I, I got to do is pass. And all I <laughs> is fair enough. All, oh, we're paying amazing. you. Never mind. <laughs> this all makes us look good anyway. It even does. If, yeah. Even whatever. Um. But, you know, it's funny because, like I was saying earlier, I remember um, the just the loyalty to the GURPS thing as well and all of the all of the love and enthusiasm that the, those of us who played. And I, I, re I admit I haven't played in years and years because I've been sort of busy, but, um, you know, just the, the loyalty and the love that we had um, for all things GURPS and all things from your company. And, uh, I do, I remember that, so this was not my joke, but I did laugh because every time a new GURPS thing would come out, my, my friends would say, you know, GURPS new thing because Steve Jackson wants your money. And, <laughs> I need to bring that I need to bring that back as our official tagline. Because you just you watch, and we would laugh, but we would also buy the thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if it works, yep. I'll, I'll nothing I'll I like better than people complaining, <laughs> you brought a new book out. God damn it. Now I have to buy it. You know, so there, yes, there's yes, a reason yes. he set me on this side of him with the arm. It's so that I can't go, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, what are you saying? Whack. Oh, it's <laughs> We, I'm sorry, you know, that gets a whack, whereas Steve Jackson wants your money. That doesn't? I get to say whatever I want. <sighs> <laughs> oh, man. And, because I'm horrible. Steve is you already know I'm horrible. Steve is crying in the background. No, he's not. He's plotting revenge. <laughs> That's probably right. true. Steve, I'm sure Steve I'm is, not worth his time. Steve's oh, right off camera. That's he's, what he's he say everything. just before he shows up. Well, wait, he's off camera? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Hi, He's just Steve. waiting. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Did I mention how exciting it was for me to finally meet the Steve Jackson back in the day? That was really cool. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Kids were impressed too. I oh. love. Uh, I remember one of my favorite stories like that was we had a kid that was really excited to meet him and missed him at Gen Con, oh. and uh, I was explaining that he, you know, he wasn't here at the moment. And as that was happening, Steve was walking up, and I was like. Uh, uh, uh. Steve, <laughs> and, and got a really good surprised kid. <laughs> so great. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, well, speaking of all the games, and you know, Steve, Steve wanting people's money. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Uh, we want people's money too. It's fine. We this is a capitalistic society. We're supposed to be proud of that. No, we're not actually. <laughs> but okay, um, I'm proud of that. Well, so. we we do have a few. We've worked on a lot of stuff with uh with the folios in general, uh, and a couple of them are actually available on the Kickstarter. I thought about mentioning them, but I know we've done Spank. Uh, oh gosh. This war <laughs> is coming up. Yeah, uh, and that's a really exciting one. Uh, Whiz War. Oh yeah. Whiz oh, that yeah. Hasn't come yeah. Out yeah. I was oh. really, I was really jacked to redo that. I I remember I remember Whiz War. Yeah, it's a classic. I remember Whiz War on the shelves. I remember looking at Whiz War on the shelf and saying. That's not Phil Folio's art, but or is it? No, yes, no. And and figuring out that there were there were lots of people that had 
goofy, funny, cool art styles. And yeah. well, now it gets the folio style. That's right. <laughs> I really liked the old art that it had too, though. And yeah, then the really it, early art, I liked that too. Oh yeah, and and actually, when Phil was illustrating was Wiz War, um, we have a friend uh, who does spiderweb software. That's his company, and he puts out computer games. And he he brought us over, and he had us play on the original board with the oh, original pieces. So cool. and, and he yeah. taught us because I'd only ever seen it in the store. I hadn't. Oh, my hair's falling down. Um, I don't only ever seen it in the store. I, I hadn't actually ever played it. So it was a lot of fun to actually play. It is cool game. Yeah, it, it is. is. It's, it's a really fun, fun little really bashy fun. game. Yeah. yeah. When is that due out? Uh, it's been delayed a little bit. Uh, we're going to be running a project for it similar to Girl Genius. Uh, I don't have an exact date yet. Mostly mm -hmm. it's been the production delays and shipping delays have kind of moved all our schedule mm -hmm. back a bit, unfortunately. Uh, uh, a lot but of that going around. I know, I'm worried. I, we're going to have to put out a new book soon. Mm. This it's, is going to be interesting. It's going to be <laughs> interesting. But it, uh, hopefully books won't be as bad. And that's what we're hoping with Girl Genius. Mm -hmm. Right now, the production's been pretty stable. There's been some shortages, uh, but printers for books are a little bit more flexible, mm -hmm. I'd say, and, and available. Board game's a little bit tougher right now. Give it a lot of lead time, I guess. Um, yeah. But that's useful to know. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at... I, so I'm, I'm fulfilling a Kickstarter right now, and it's um, later than I would have liked for lots of stupid reasons. And... Oh. Um, but I kind of need to do a new one in January. So I really have to get this one. I mean, I need to get this one shipped anyway. That's with uh, us and Car Wars. That was definitely later than we wanted. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, I didn't there. Car Wars. I mean, there wasn't that like, was that the one that was an enormous project and you guys had so much more work than you expected? No, I think that was the tabletop ogre. Was, was, that, was that the one? Where, which, I think which you're just fantastic runaway <laughs> success was that? No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> which one? Did, which one did Steve promise all the cool things in? Oh wait, mm. we did the. When I say oh. tabletop ogre, I meant the box with the size, oh, yeah. the tabletop, oh. the coffee table. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it is your yeah. coffee table. Oh yeah, mm. it was gigantic. You could kill a man with it. Yes. But don't. I, yeah. I found one in a store the other day. Uh, they still had one or got one somehow, wow. and it was it was so big. And I <laughs> see them pretty regularly, but I just on the yeah. shelf. I'm like, where did you get I, the shelf to hold this? I've never <laughs> seen it. I've never actually seen it in the wild. So I wow. A lot of them got snapped up. I imagine they did. so. And that one probably yeah. got snapped up really quick. That's very nice. Yeah. Mm. You, do you guys have any particular like favorite things you've worked on uh, with SJ Games or any? particular Ooh, standouts um, or funny stories <laughs> <laughs> um well uh the funniest story was uh when steve came up with the idea um for spank oh you know and <laughs> i was on the other end of the line when that happened yeah yeah he they called me up and he was like okay uh space pirate amazon ninja cat girls and we're calling it Spank. And I'm like, I'll do it. He said, are you in? <laughs> this is like the entire phone conversation. Phil, Space <laughs> Pirate, cat, Amazon Cat Girls, are you in? And Phil's like, yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> With and a I, who like had that, also who picked up no. the other extension, was laughing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, hmm. um, See, you, did, you didn't call Steve's bluff. It was all a bluff. <laughs> Was oh, I, I, there was no question it was just like <laughs> hell yes yeah <laughs> oh man and what's really funny is spank got a recent reprint it's one of those it? games oh yeah we've got about all the time. boxes in the warehouse we yeah. just uh the warehouse the warehouse uh we've the actually sold shelves. quite a few the spank on this campaign yeah <laughs> a lot <laughs> yes it's great I'm gonna oh, make a big man. sign that says the warehouse and staple it over the basement. Fine, you do that. <laughs> hey, that's what that's that's how we do our warehouse. It's like yeah. it's, it's warehouse-ish. We, we used to have a we used to have a, a bit of warehouse space, but um when we downsized oh, quite a long time ago, we, we pulled it all in. So yeah, we outsourced mm. our warehouse to uh to Potico. Which oh, that's uh, true. That's now true. does all of our uh, mail fulfillments. That's right. There is a warehouse. There is a the there warehouse. But we do not have to see it. That's true. <laughs> we should, but we don't. Yeah. 
on the other side of the country. That is. That's the best way to keep the warehouse. Uh, <laughs> <Far away. laughs> yeah. Wow. Logistics stay over there. Mm-hmm. But oh. Depotico also uh, fulfills for a lot of other really great web comics. So they've got everything on site in one place. Yeah. So it helps save on shipping and stuff. Mm-hmm. Good place to go now that so, Christmas is coming. I remember, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I remember working on um, on GURPS IOU, and um, mm-hmm. and they had a character in there that was described as Girl Genius, and I was horrified because we were working on Girl Genius, and I was like, Oh God, they're going to think we copied them. Oh no, oh, I'm no. scared. We we survived, but yeah. you know, young me was was afraid that they would think we were ripping them off and be mad at us. Oh, so. Sure. I was like, but we're. Still- <laughs> I actually recently, I I had never personally seen GURPS IOU, but oh, wow. I remember uh, something we were doing a digital, we're doing digital reprints of certain things, things like that, uh, getting uh, print on demand, and I saw GURPS IOU come up, and I'm like, that that looks so cool. I love the cover of IOU. <laughs> it looked great. Yeah, uh, that's it terrific. Yeah. Oh man, that's so it was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And you you mentioned earlier, uh, GURPS fans just wanting if it said the word GURPS on it at the time. Yeah, that's yes. totally how we were. And oh, you yeah. know, it, there it, was a lot still... left back then. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's they were kind of like encyclopedias in some ways. You have like a collection wonderful. of things. Yeah. They that, were so much know, fun to read. Even I mean, even, like I said, I mean, you know, like we knew nothing about. For instance, my my always my example is horse clans because that's the one that we bought, having no concept of even what horse clans was. <laughs> but we'd still sit there and read through all of them and have a wonderful time and you know laugh at ourselves for for buying things we didn't even know what they were. But I think we had, I think we had pirates and, um and. I don't remember. It was a lot. There really weren't a lot back then. This would have been um, 1989. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> yeah. was the fledgling, yeah. <laughs> old, old. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah that's, so we, 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 yeah we've got to the point personal. where we can do projects, like PDF projects, and mm-hmm. uh, we can be very specific, and people are like, we'll check it out. The We did yeah. one this year where it was 12 PDFs, and one of them I remember specifically was like Venice in the oh. 1800s oh, and that wow. was just it was just that mm-hmm. and it was awesome <laughs> oh no i i love um you know role-playing source books of all kinds even the ones that aren't gurp so i i, I can be disloyal here um the the oh, castle sure. falkenstein ones when again when we started bringing out girl genius when you when you first bring out a project the first thing everyone everywhere that sees it does is they tell you what it's like they look at the cover or they look you know at a little bit of they hear a little bit of the concept and they will say oh this is like thing i already have heard about and one of the things that i kept hearing about was castle falkenstein and which i'd never heard of or knew nothing about and so i found it in the boxes at a convention and i bought i think there are three books and they're so wonderful they're the, they're just the most amazing things to read through and uh i just yeah. i love them i love pulling them out every so often and uh castle falkenstein for those who may not know is uh is a role playing system set in uh a sort of victorian fantasy world so you've got your elves and your dwarves and your humans and your typical fantasy things but it's all set in the victorian era as opposed to the medieval era and it's it's just lovely and uh, i can't recommend it highly enough so um that one's That's also a- super fun to read but all the old gurp stuff um like you say it was so encyclopedic it was just fun to read through and see all the references even if you never got to play in a, a campaign with them they were just fun so uh, i love gurps Discworld. the gurps Discworld. oh yes are terrific. Uh, i was actually going to mention that uh i don't know why i didn't but we were talking about like how, how the project was doing and i had i was going to mention i hadn't seen something be this popular since the gurps Discworld that we did a few years ago the gurps uh Discworld fourth edition one uh it's it's been a wildly successful book and both of those are extremely popular <laughs> Good. Yeah, so well, that's, that's actually really nice to hear. Um, yeah. Because you know, Discworld being what it is, um, which is like the best thing ever. Um, it's it's nice to hear that we're we're reaching for that. Oh yeah. yeah. Most assuredly. Well, we talk a lot about GURPS. Let's talk about the 
comics, I guess, itself. Uh, I mean, I mentioned at the beginning, and you guys went over the backstory of Girl Genius. It's one of the biggest web comics over the past 20 years. Uh, oh, that's like, true. Uh, is that true? Is that yes. sure? I, I would oh, yeah, like to yeah. believe that that is true. Oh, so I sure. would to believe that that is true. I, I am stuck in a, a stuck, huh? I am living in a house full of homestuck fans. So. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> My, our kids our kids you know every so often they'll read girl genius and and that's nice and everything but but you know all of the jokes and all of the uh the funny stuff around it's like oh god we just don't rate uh, oh, no. yeah no 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 second it's place in the house home hey, stuck second place and, you're um, still placing Prophet is without Gosh. honor in his own country. Know, what else do they like? Yeah, they like other things that aren't us. Yeah, but they're very nice and charitable, and every so often they read it and make a joke to to oh. make us feel good. So. And that's well, when I'm we glad you please the critic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. man. do you have any other like projects that you'd like to turn into games, or is there anything like you anything, <sighs> anything you've seen your comic? Uh, be translated into not even our games well, that you're I have in. I have a couple of games that I've always joked about wanting to make and have never because I am not a game designer I have the barest bones but I've got um Jaeger Monster Hat Frenzy which uh the backstory is that you are a troop of Jaeger monsters and you've just fought off a terrible enemy and 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 you've got all their boxes of stuff and and oh my gosh the boxes of all of the loot it's boxes filled with hats and so you're all fighting over who gets the best hats yeah uh you know the uh the implication being that you've just fought off a traveling circus and found their <laughs> their props boxes and and so you're fighting over their hats and again i don't know how the mechanic would go but that's the basic of it um um pa pow um pa pow is you are a um you are an um pa band and you have accidentally double booked the same hall as another oompa band and you have to fight it out to see who gets the hall <laughs> just again and the third one was the mimoth hunters and the mimoth hunters is um you're a bunch of students at transylvania polynastic university and you have um accidentally let your cage full of mammoths, which are these tiny mammoths, you've let them loose in the lab and your professor is so angry with you that he has shrunk you all down and sent you into his machine into his machine to clear out all the mammoths from from his machine. And um, so, you know, yeah. And again, yeah, that's how would these games go? You know, I have some ideas, but um, I have to well, get to them. So- as a t- as a tuba player, I'm going to vote for Oompa. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Um, pow, pow, yes. That's, oh, wow. um, I, I think that would make a really fun um, fighting video game, actually, but uh, you know, like kind of like Smash, yeah. but um, I, I don't know. It could also be a fast paced card game. I True. don't know. You know, too much, too much exposure to Steve Jackson games, too much exposure to uh, James Ernest over at Cheap Ass Games. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I, I think like this, even though I don't have the skills. Yeah, Cheap, cheap Ass Games is a bad influence on, on all of us. If we get a piece uh, of yeah. paper, it's a game, we're good. Sure. As far as games that are coming out, um, we have. Uh, uh, Girl Genius Adventures in Castle Heterodon, which is a video yes. game coming out from Rain Games mm-hmm. in Norway. And uh, it's looking really cool. And they're really good. They did a Kickstarter for that last year, wasn't and it? And they're putting together a, a, tra- a teaser trailer now. I'm yeah. not sure it's quite out yet. But, no, it's not. But you'll be able to see it soon. Uh, we've also seen some gameplay that's pretty neat. Yeah. And uh, it's it's just, it's looking really fun. And They've I, already got a deal that it'll, it'll be coming out on the Switch. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So And also Steam. Uh, you know, the Switch... Sadly, the switch isn't terribly powerful, so they're having to like like make sure that everything works really nicely and play plays nicely with the switch, which is kind of fun. But yeah. the switch is such a huge platform, and uh, yeah, it's so, so much that... fun. I play my switch all the. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I get on the phone with my mom, and then I fire up Breath of the Wild and just climb mountains while I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And fall yeah. off of them, but you know, sure. it's fine. <laughs> that's that's gr- that's really cool. When yeah. you hit the video games, you feel it's feels like the big time. I feel like uh, well, that's that's my that's my big time. Uh, yeah. um, I'm not as excited about movies, but I'm always excited about video games. Yeah. So, Let's uh, see what else movies just make me. You know, I, I always joke that I need to bring a controller into the movie theater because otherwise I'm just like 
they're not doing what I'm telling them to do. I hate this. <laughs> so, mm. yeah. <clears throat> but the last time we tried it, she threw her controller at the screen and it was just embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> I think someone's projecting. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, never throw my controllers, sir. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, the fourth, we do girl genius novelizations. That's true. Uh, and, uh, the fourth one of those came out, uh, last year. We need to get on the fifth one, but yep. uh, this hairy Kickstarter has been eating my life. I know so. that was Agatha H and the siege of Mechanicsburg. Mm-hmm. But uh, like I said, there's four of them out. They're all in print. You can get them online or in fine bookstores anywhere. Mm-hmm. Nice. And and if you're watching at home, and we'll we'll find the links and make sure to link y'all to all that stuff. Ooh, uh, lovely. Just check Thank the comments you. for all that. Uh, and I did thing. want to mention for people, uh, we had a couple questions come in. We'll cover some Q&A at the end, uh, whatever sure. we have time for. Uh, but if you have any questions, drop them in and we'll get them on here and just share them. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there, Phil. No, that's all right. Yeah. Um, let's see. The only other thing I can think of is uh, I have a Don Girl Genius novel coming out uh, sometime this year called uh, The Night Sheriff, which is a uh, humorous fantasy detective horror novel. Would you like some sprinkles on that cake? Hey, hey, hey. (laughs) And we've got a thing that we're, mm, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Oh yeah, uh, excuse me, the the last, oh gosh. I guess that's my warning, I shouldn't talk about it. Oh no. <laughs> no, it's, we've got an idea for a series of YA novels that we've been working on for years now, but it, it basically it's a group of um, younger characters that live that live in Mechanicsburg, um, in, in Agatha's Mechanicsburg. So Agatha is in it in that she is the mad scientist up in the castle who rules the town, but she's not really a major character in it. It's the actual characters are these, these kids who live in Mechanicsburg and... Um, live at uh it's all centered around the mechanicsburg candy store and yeah so that uh you know when that comes out that will be fun yeah yeah but it's not out it's just a thing (laughs) they start out as ideas and that's the important part and they do and now that i've yeah i know and now that i've told you about it I, i i have to get on it so that's that's really the purpose there you go that's that's how i do stuff too i'm like oh i'm gonna I'm going to do this. I'm going to tell someone I'm going to do this. And now you're going to hold me to it. Well, we actually did have a couple questions coming. Uh, let me, let me yeah. check those out. It looks like Damien Smith uh, said, oh, hello. I love Buck Gado. Any chance we'll see more from him and his crew? Um, I'd like to, it's a question of just having the uh, time and, uh, uh as kaya puts it the spoons to uh i like uh, to i like i like hit points myself uh, okay. spoons is the uh the internet accepted term yes yeah uh <laughs> to uh get something out so mm-hmm. well don't blame me Go i'm ahead. not you blaming make, you you have to make time for that i know you're gonna know. make them mad at everything we we do put out uh. <laughs> <clears throat> I think you should oh. do bucket novels. I think it's a great idea. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. grinding away on one. You could put illustrations yeah. in them, but but you know what is you know what's so movies are probably slower than comics, but comics appear to be slower than everything else. Comics are just <laughs> slow, and so if you're people like us who say, "Oh, I have an idea," it has to be a comic. That means it's going to take forever. If we just did Girl Geniuses novels, we'd be done by now. But you know, oh no, we have to have pictures. And yeah, if we were making movies, we'd still be at the trailer. I think probably. Yeah. <laughs> so. <clears throat> well, we're happy that you chose comics because that mm-hmm. means we got to feature all that cool art and curbs and much. Yeah, there you go. It yeah. really looks nice. It I does. Like it does. Yeah, we saw the mock-up. Yeah. That 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 cover just gets me every time. I love it. I, lo- I think it, I think it's the background just being like so. It's like a black background. Looks really good. Yeah. With that. I think uh, the black background really improved it. And by the way, that was you guys that did oh. that. So good on you oh. because um, I think the 
uh, the the thing we turned in had a different background, but um, mm. the black background really suits it. Uh, it looks good. Probably a Sabrina choice, and I'll give her all the credit for. Her. Well, <laughs> good <laughs> work. Mm. <laughs> I'll leave that there. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. We had another one here. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I keep turning oh, around because the cat is down here. The cat is down here at my elbow, wailing at me because I won't oh. pick him up. But when I try to pick him up, he scuttles away. You can you're, just... you're obviously committing the crime of showing too much affection while yeah. ask, they ask for affection. I guess. Yeah. It's fine. Well, this is the shy and this is the one that got half a brain. So, uh, you know, he's a lovely guy, but not too smart. Yeah. <laughs> that so. sounds like sounds like my cat, except maybe a quarter of the brain on mine. Oh, <laughs> I love him, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, looks like. Dulcimerous Doe said, do you have any funny or weird stories from attending conventions? Gosh. Um, None that are safe for work. Um, <laughs> we sit behind a booth and... Um, Pretty much. Oh, 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 okay. Here's, this is a really self-congratulatory one. I'm going, this is, this is a, um, but, but, hmm. so Phil and I got to a convention. I do not even remember which convention because they all blend together. They, you, you start to feel like you're constantly at one perpetual convention, but we had not been there very long. And we <clears throat> were walking around the lobby looking for, I don't know, our, our hotel key or something. And, and we turn around and look and they had this grand staircase and we had just come around a corner and we see sweeping up this grand staircase, um, someone dressed as Zola, uh, who is from Girl Genius, one of the characters from Girl Genius. She's got the full pink gown, you know, sweeping the stairs. And she's flanked by two of her, her minions with their great big giant hats. Wow. And this wasn't even for our benefit. They were going up the stairs away from us, but we were, and there we were just like, wow cool yeah <laughs> there they went yeah. that's so cool so that was a, a really um a really wonderful moment and i i always love the moments at conventions where you see someone in cosplay and you just accept that it's them um i remember being at norwestcon many years ago and and hellboy was just out front having a smoke and it was, I mean, it was just Hellboy, you know? Yeah, like, okay, we know that guy. It's just Hellboy. It's not, not, you know, my brain didn't go to, it's a cosplayer. No, this was a really good cosplay. And that was just Hellboy having a smoke. Yeah, and, that's and that was That was pretty magical. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah, we're, we're not... Mm. Half, most of the good stories have to do with people who've um, shown up in cosplay that and delighted us. Um, yeah, the person who showed up as Gil with Gil's hilarious hat that was on fire. Uh, that yeah, was, that was really nicely done. Um, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah, um, yeah. the the. The guy show, who showed up as one of the train monks and gave us gave us tickets for free uh, free drinks for a cocktail hour or whatever it was I forgot on what the train did. yeah, yeah. yeah. he had, he even had the little tickets and <laughs> um, yeah yeah I think it's a lot of them are the cosplayers those are yeah. wonderful yeah um, oh I remember um, I re this has happened twice once um, I, I was sitting at the booth at, at San Diego and I look up and there's Professor Elemental and I was like oh oh my god it's Professor Elemental holy cow and he said oh my god it's you and and we got to be excited about meeting each other which was very nice of him yeah and uh, a similar thing that happened um uh yeah, that, just with a lot of other. Um, yeah, let's yeah. see. There was the enigma. Yeah, the yeah. enigma. I look up and here's the enigma. Just oh, oh my god! And he's hard to miss. This is the man who has all of the puzzle pieces tattooed oh, all yeah. over his face, and the yeah. horns, and the and the this, and the that, and the and the one of these, and the and yeah, he, like I said, you know, you, you're down here. Look and you look up, and so sometimes you're you're looking down at your convention table, and then you look up, and there's something or someone amazing. Yeah. Um, so Something from your mind is suddenly manifested in real or something. Life. Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah, That's great. I, I did once look up and somebody was holding their snake right here, and uh, <laughs> it's a good thing I like snakes. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god! Because even though I love snakes, it, it still startled me to look up into the face of a, of a very cute boa constrictor. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that that'd be a weird one for me. 
Al? Uh, this is a, another a kind of a broad question. Uh, Miley Spears asks, where did the idea for Girl Genius come from? Maybe it's not a broad question. Maybe it's more specific. <laughs> oh, this is mine. Okay. So long ago, <clears throat> just before Phil and I were married, actually, but we were living together, uh, I was going... In to- sin. <laughs> <laughs> As you like. <laughs> That's how he likes to think of it. Anyway, um, so we were living together and um, and I was going through all of his sketches. And I know you've all heard this story before, but you're going to hear it again. Um, because I'm getting old and being old, part of being old is that you get to tell stories over and over again. I'm going through all of his sketches and I'm Uh, And I'm finding all of these pictures of like airships and dragons in spats and cats with walking sticks and little waistcoats and basically a whole lot of stuff that that you would categorize as steampunk, uh, although I had not actually heard that word yet. And the it was right around the same time that he was coming to the end of Buck Godot Gallimaufry, which is um, the comic book series he was doing at the time. And he was saying, yeah, I don't know what to do next. What should I do next? Should I do, you know, some more what's new? Should I do this? Should I do that? And one of our friends at the time, just who was kind of a, a smart arse, uh, looked at him and said, well, why don't you do something new that you haven't done before? You know, and both Phil and I, yeah, we were like, what? What a strange and unusual (laughs) idea. How could we possibly conceive of such a thing? Yeah. And then, and and I looked at all of these, these sketches that I was going through and, and this was before we had a scanner. So, you know, I was just filing them and I said, well, you know, you've never done anything with this kind of thing. And I really like this. This is, this is exactly my jam. And, and he said, you're right. You know, there really isn't much out there like that. Well, little did we know. I mean, I, now I can point to a thousand things that are like that. But at the time we were like, you know, there really isn't much out there that's that kind of, you know, Victorian pulp adventure, Lovecraftian kind of stuff that matches our couch. And uh, can you make that not um, yeah. happen? And um, so we were like, well, maybe we should do that. At the time I was trying just out of college and sort of flailing around trying to figure out what to do. And I was, my brain was firmly lodged in, in mad science. So I was all like uh, drawing mad scientist stuff and trying to figure out something to do with that. And um, Phil went away for a convention and he came back with sketches for, you know, girl genius. And that's just a play on the uh, boy genius, this and boy genius, that, that again is very pulpy. Uh, and I am very fond of, of pulp is dumb as a brick, but gosh, it's fun. And uh uh, assuming you strip all the creepy racist um, <clears throat> aspects Colonialist. of it. Oh my yeah. God, it had some, yeah, Pulp has a lot of problems, but it also has a lot of wonderful, glorious things. And so I, I just want to take all the all the happy things and the fun things. And, uh, and that's something we've tried to do in Girl Geniuses is, is make it, I mean, yes, all the protagonists are, are white folks and, you know, as are we, but um you know, we, we try to make it a world where everybody gets to play. Like everybody's having adventures in this. This is yeah, yeah. So well, anyway, so um, so that's kind of how Girl Genius came about. Was oh, let's do something with mad science and uh, and then when Phil was first thinking about it, it was sort of a near future thing, and that just wasn't gelling and it wasn't working. And I said, well, what? Why don't you make it? You know, again, that that's when we were like, let's let's make it look. Let's make it Victorian. Let's make it pulpy. Let's make it. Um, and I let's was make like, it match the couch. That and I was, was like, like, nobody, nobody does anything like this. Well, that was, that's not true, though. But that's what I said. I know, but I wish. And uh, you know, and then we were like, nobody does anything like this. Uh, hey, like, yeah. And right around that time, a comic called Steampunk came out. So uh, somebody did something like that. But well, uh, for yeah. about five minutes. Yeah. Uh, you need, yeah. Anyway, I mean, as many people are influenced by Girl Genius now to get into steampunk than anything else. So, I mean, you guys, there weren't as many people do, doing it at the time. So there was definitely stuff like that, as any trip to Disneyland will sure. show you. Um, sure, yeah. But it, uh, it's, um, but you know, it wasn't something that we were seeing a lot. And they always say, well, okay, so wise words from James Ernest again of cheap ass games, which was make what you want, you know, make the thing you yeah. want. 
because almost guaranteed there are other people out there who also want that. And if there aren't, at least you've made what you want. So, you know, yeah. thank you. Uh, and, and also, like, you hear that from on the game design side of things. Uh, sometimes people say, like, oh, I want to. I want to make this combination of X and X. You mentioned it earlier. Like uh, if someone, if you make something, the first thing you hear is this reminds me of, yeah, <laughs> there's, yeah. a, there's always going to be someone that says, say, this reminds me of that. So just mm -hmm. make it. You know, well, like oh it. yeah, no, that it, it just, it, in, in my experience, when you bring out something new, yeah, you're just going to hear, oh, this is like thing. This is like other thing right up until suddenly you're not hearing that anymore because you've been around so long. Uh, we still, we, we go to anime conventions are one of the kinds of conventions that we do. Uh -huh. And, um, and, you know, a lot of the younger anime fans will come by our table and they'll be like, this looks like Full Metal Alchemist. And to the point where I finally had to go look it up. And I'm like, we predate Full Metal Alchemist <laughs> by about a month. We did by, it first. By about a month, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, Back off. <laughs> one, one convention, there's going to be a full metal alchemist booth that ends up right next to you guys. You're like, <laughs> oh, I, you know, full metal alchemist, don't get me wrong, it's brilliant. Oh, and oh wonderful. Yeah. But, but we're totally not ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's like all the all the people who accuse Terry Pratchett of ripping off uh, Rowling. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. Uh, I'm I'm currently happily uh, watching through the Worst Witch, which is very. Um, oh yeah. It's very. I, I I'm curious to read the books because the the current Netflix show is very much, you know, it's very Harry Potter flavored. But from what I understand from everything I've read, Harry Potter is very wor Worst Witch flavored. So, and it's been around since the seventies. So it's it's hard. So I'm I'm currently really interested in this, but I don't have all the pieces yet. Yeah. Uh, so, but I'm the intrigued. show is charming, and and I'm really enjoying it. Good. Every morning oh. I get up at six o'clock and I watch a little bit of it while I drink my coffee groggily, and then I shoo the child off to school. <laughs> so. There you go. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's uh, that's the best way to watch something. Very very tired in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we, I've been watching a bunch of horror movies, which hasn't been helping my sleep. So, that's on you, man. I know. It's a terrible choice. Bad life choices. That's me. So. Well, uh, we had a couple more. Uh, got, so oh, yes. we don't have time for everybody, but I want to mention a uh, couple here. Uh, it looks like you're... Oh, sorry. I said I'll try to stop rambling. Oh, no, you're fine. This, this is what people were hoping to hear, I think. Uh, Guillermo asked, uh, how's your arm, Phil? Oh, um, getting better. He's getting doing better. great. Ah. Um, Sorry. Uh, you know, it it depends on uh, what I'm stupid enough to do the previous day. Like, you know, it's aching a bit today because I was. He keeps uh, thinking he can lift things. He's not supposed to be lifting things. Um, and then our kid comes in and is like, hey, dad, how do you feel? Like ah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <clears throat> well yes. we're glad it's getting better at the yes. very least mm -hmm. it is getting better <laughs> and this is a cute one uh dual simmerist asked uh how did phil and kaya first meet no why does everyone ask this <laughs> oh no i'm sorry <laughs> if you do not want to answer that's okay we too. met in proper victorian fashion it's true we were introduced by a mutual acquaintance and um and we were, you know, we I, we were friends and we enjoyed um, the medieval dancing. We were both at the time in the SCA. And oh, that's awesome. we would go, we had the most amazing dance masters at in, in our um in our little corner of the SCA and they did dancing every week and it was such fun. And so, you know, I would, Phil didn't have a car, so I would give him a ride and, uh, and that was fine. And I was actually dating someone else who was very nice that I liked very much, but that was sort of coming to an end. And one day on the way to dance practice, Phil said, Oh, you know, so how's, how's the chump? Don't be rude. He was lovely. And uh and <clears throat> I think that very ill becomes you. And but Phil said, How how is 
person and and I said oh you know he's doing fine we're we're kind of we're breaking up though and Phil said oh really and I thought hmm well now that's information Uh, (laughs) and and, uh when I had actually broken up with um you know my uh, other boyfriend I ended up uh going out with Phil fairly quickly uh so you know which which doesn't look good but what are you gonna do um, Victorian, <laughs> you gotta do it. But, yeah, uh, play the field. But yep, uh, yep. Nah, yeah, but he was a nice guy, and you shouldn't be a jerk. But anyway, right. he wasn't a nice guy. Not not a nice guy. He was just like like a a a, a good person that I appreciate. You're right. Yes, you're right. Yeah. I should. Nice guy means something else on the internet these days. You don't want to. You don't want to be one. No fear of me being that. No. <laughs> Uh, Definitely not. I did want to mention uh, we had a question. He said Tom Smith said hey and hey, uh, asked hey. the, and he said how's the video game coming? You guys mentioned that earlier. We so did. It's, it's coming along great. It's looking amazing. I'm yeah, so yeah. excited. Uh, my only fear is that it's going to be too hard for me. I- <laughs> I used to have such tenacity for for video games. I would just hammer away at at difficult puzzles for hours. And then um, when the kids became more demanding, I sort of lost some of that tenacity. And um, and I don't. And all of a sudden, the little rows of blocks started stacking up again, and she just never got the... uh... What are you talking about? (laughs) Tetris. Oh, I played Tetris once. Yeah, I know. I didn't like it. No. Um, now I played Tetris one day. Yeah. Um, many, many, many. Lack of story development. Let's just say there are no dragons and <laughs> to know. hell with that noise. Yes. Uh, but I know I played it for a day and then I had weird Tetris dreams that night. And that was the last time I ever played Tetris. Well, oh. there you go. No, no, no. I like um, I like Zelda. I like Animal Crossing. I like Psychonauts. I like... Um, I like Okami. I like Ooh, I say Psychonauts. I yes. like Psychonauts. Yeah. Uh, Their new one coming out. I, yeah, the Psychonauts too. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, although getting it in physical is not happening, and I'm annoyed about that. I miss the Kickstarter. Uh, and we like to have our games in physical if we can. In the same way. I liked uh, World of Warcraft, but they're sort of oh my god. Toxic. Sure. Less said oh, about yeah. them, the better right now. And um oh, yeah. But, um, gosh, what else do I, I like Hollow Knight, but I haven't got very far in it. And um, Tesla Grad, again, I haven't got very far in Another it. Another Rain game. Yeah, Tesla Grad is also from Rain, and it's very steampunk and really cool, and the yes. music is amazing. And, oh, gosh, the music they're doing for the Girl Genius game. So good. It's so good. I'm so excited. I, 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 love, the, I love the video game music. Yeah. So, yeah. That's awesome. Hmm. I have the whole Okami soundtrack that I just play. <laughs> That is a very good soundtrack. It's so it's good. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and I think this will, we'll call this the last question. Looks like the last one we got in here. Miley Spears. Uh, Agatha started before Girl Genius, correct? So how did you choose her for Girl Genius? What? Oh, well, Agatha was actually made for Girl Genius. We were, okay. I mean, we were, work- Agatha was created as part of, but we were working on Girl Genius for a long time before we actually published it. A long gotcha. time. Yep. We started writing Girl Genius in 1993. Yes. Yeah, it was like we started working on it about six or so months before we got married. Right. So Mm -hmm. 1993. But the first issue Mm -hmm. didn't come out until like 2000. Mm -hmm. So but we wanted to get, you know, the story hammered out. And And we were doing other things. Yeah. So it was. Yeah. So we did a lot of writing on Girl Genius before before bringing it out. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so just sounds like the timeline was a little mixed up. But more uh, I think uh, Agatha did get you slipped her into. I a, slipped her into Groups IOU. Into yes. Groups IOU. Yeah, oh, she's, okay. She's like one of the one of the yearbook pages has yeah. Agatha in there. Her first so. published appearance. Hmm? So that 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 might be where the confusion was coming Maybe. from. Maybe that could have been yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That could have been it. Well. uh I think I think that's all the questions we have here. Uh, is there any other projects? We kind of talked about some of your upcoming stuff uh, yeah, earlier, but if there's anything else I wanted to uh, plug here. Um, Just the the game 
the game the game when it comes out night sheriff when it comes out you know girl genius has a patreon which uh is awesome i always link down um, the comics as well yeah i'm always embarrassed to talk about the patreon (laughs) but you know the patreon uh the only the only thing i really do on the patreon is um every so often i'll put up artwork uh little sketches and things and the patreon will often get the page early not always depending on how busy i get um but but often i will post the um the line art like phil will draw the the pencils and send those to cheyenne and if i'm really on the ball i will letter that and then post it to patreon so people could see it a little early so that's, that's right. fun i i really enjoy doing that actually it's kind of fun i can, I can be like hey guys look here's a page so you can pretend you're psychic and say i'll bet they well, go into the room and then sometimes <laughs> they'll actually say you spelled this wrong and i'll be like oh gosh i did or Ugh. or um you know yeah. you you doubled up on a word or or you screwed up in some way and and then i have a chance to fix things early so that's, that's right. also really nice so um, we have like a couple of thousand editors who pay us to work well, lord knows i'm in <laughs> if, I, that's 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 our gurps fans don't worry uh, no matter <laughs> no matter how educated i think i am i always make mistakes and um some of it is just from sheer tiredness so oh yeah <laughs> No, no matter how much editing there is, it's never enough editing. It's just how it goes. Yeah. Oh man. But I well, really appreciate it when people come in and say, you know, you spelled this wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Very helpful. Very. And then Especially I find things in it. books. Sometimes I find things like in books that have been out for 10 years and suddenly I'll find a, a typo and I'll think, how did this live this long? <laughs> How did no one catch this? How did I not? Catch? Ball let me down. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, well, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. This has been an awesome talking about Girl Genius and GURPS. Uh, project has just gained more backers while we've been talking. So that's Yay! great. Yay! Uh, that's nice and, to hear. I haven't looked at it in like two days. So I have to go have we're a We're over 2,000 backers. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's very March. nice. Yeah. Going, going well. Uh, thank you guys for all watching us and asking questions. And if you're catching this after the fact, uh, just leave a comment. We'll uh, try to answer our best of our ability. And we got all the links below. Check out the Patreon. Check out the game. Check out the Kickstarter, which is uh, going well. And you can get other stuff via it, like Spank. And uh, we've added an eight-page comic to the book. So that's uh, really exciting. Uh, and thank you guys again for joining us and uh, thank you Phil and Kaya so much this is awesome to talk to you after being a fan for years and years so uh, it's been it's been great thank you well thank you everybody yeah. take care take care y'all have a happy Halloween too yeah. happy Halloween oh, 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 oh. <laughs>